40, living in North Carolina, I don't know how you're not perpetually scared of being unalived by a cop. You know, you have a civil war, you ain't white folks, man, that'll, that'll put them back about four or five generations, because, and then you know what, the good ones can go live in their little communities and they can do what they want to do, just stay out of my way. That's Kevin Piner up there on the police radio talking about purging black people with two other officers. Oh wait, you didn't even hear that part yet, hold on. You told me tonight, you said, all right, tomorrow's a purge day, get as many as you want. Do not go down there. <laughs> I go down there. I'd go down there and slaughter them mother And if you're working in law enforcement listening to this recording and you're just like, oh, it's just one bad apple, I can tell you it's not. The court evidence exclusively obtained by WECT included not only the racist recordings, but four internal affairs investigations as well. So the cop had accidentally recorded himself in that conversation, but also the discovery of that audio was a complete fluke and it was just icing on the cake on top of four other internal affairs investigations on his conduct as a police officer. And then finally, two years later, the department's like, yeah, we should probably fire this guy. Although the department released some of the transcripts of the videos, a judge blocked the release of the recordings themselves. WCT's investigative reporter Michael Pratt worked for months to get those recordings, and Michael, we were finally able to get them released. Yeah, Fran, and the judge didn't change his mind, but when one of the three fired officers appealed his dismissal to superior court the recordings were submitted as evidence that's right so not only is there more shit to hear but the judge is like nah i don't want people to know how racist the state is and the only reason why you're actually hearing it is because the officer had the audacity to try to sue to get his job back and they had to submit those snippets as evidence and if you're still thinking that, oh, it's just a couple bad apples, let me tell you where he gets the audacity to sue to get his job back. See, this guy, his name is Jody Green, and he recently did the exact same thing, talking shit about purging black people while trying to get reelected as the top sheriff in his county. For Columbus County Sheriff, last month, Jody Green appeared in court during a hearing to remove him from office, but he resigned before the hearing took place. Despite that, he remained on the ballot and continued to campaign. Green still ran, and he faced challenger Jason Souls. With all precincts reporting, Green is the unofficial winner with more than 54 percent of the vote yeah we're not talking another bad apple on the other side of the country we're talking like a 15 minute drive to ihop on the next county over the dude that did the exact same thing talking about purging black people won his re-election campaign for the top cop position in his county oh bonus if you keep driving 20 minutes more you'll run into a county where the entire police department resigned because a black woman got elected to office if you're a minority living